So, uh, when I got to the pure gym, I expected to walk through the door and film going up the stairs. And uh, turns out it was shut, so I almost walked into the door. <laughs> Good morning, so it's Saturday morning again. Uh, a little bit different this Saturday morning because uh, I'm actually still working, um, still working down in Croydon, uh, doing a double week because the job's a bit behind. But anyhow, this marks the 12 weeks out from my competition. So usually I'd start my diet from 12 weeks out and currently I'm I think 17 weeks now, uh, when, when I first started, so six weeks in, no, it's going to be 18 weeks, six weeks in already, um, and I'm really happy with how things are going. I know I say this every time, but without a shadow of a doubt, this year is going to be my best look, my best physique. I'm training harder, I'm pushing myself more, I'm educating myself more, I'm listening to podcasts every day whilst working. Uh, books on fitness, nutrition. So, 12 weeks to go. Uh, I'm excited to see how far I can push myself. But um, it's going to be a little bit different this episode because obviously I'm working all weekend. So, um, I record a little bit of my work. But uh, like tonight, so I'll record a bit of that and then rest day tomorrow. So, I hope you enjoy this episode. I'll keep that on. <laughs> I didn't realise you were actually doing it right now. I'll keep it in full. So, 
I'm in work Saturday morning. Thought I'd give you a quick tour of what is going on. So this is an Amazon warehouse. It was a Toys R Us. Um, so basically, just drive around on these big lifters all day, installing lighting. Distribution board. So yeah, that's pretty much my next couple of days, my weekend. But I'm on the Saturday morning monster. I've got the AirPods in. And I've got the tunes blasted away. It's all good, baby. The rap one. Really nice, yeah. So it's about what time is it? About three o'clock. And I'm starving again, literally. I'm hungry all the time at the minute. I'm eating so much, like well over three and a half thousand calories. But I'm still losing weight. Um, part of it is down to doing up well over 20,000 steps a day. Uh, training in the morning some days and every evening. So I'm still eating loads. All I'm thinking about is food. I don't know if uh, I've got a lot of people can relate to that. But eating the hell of a lot of food at the minute. I'm gonna take you up on the lift. So yeah, I'm about to get some more food down there. Once I've got these cables pulled in, ready for a big old leg session tonight, which I'll record. I'm an up-and-coming fighter and without a doubt you will see me on the UFC in the, in the near future. Without a doubt. I'm a professional MMA fighter with a record of 4 and 1. Just believe, believe in yourself, believe that, believe that you're better than everyone else. Just believe in yourself and be cocky and be confident and just be humble, train hard. Again, keep believing, keep training, keep trying to learn every day. To me, what's unhealthy is living an unhealthy life. To me, what's unhealthy is getting up and going through the same day, every day of your life, nine to five in an office or in a... That that's unhealthy. That beats your mind. I don't I don't work. I love what I do. And that's why I'm doing what I love. My dream is to be number one pretty much. My goal is num number one in MMA. I want that featherweight belt. So that uh, belt. when I got that's to the pure gym, happen, I expected I you know to happens. walk through the door and film going up the stairs. And uh, turns out it was shut, so I almost walked into the door. Uh, so I went and trained at another gym instead, so I could pay for a gym day session as well as being a member at Stony Nipple. Fuck it, you've got to do what you've got to do. I mean, there's two things I've learned from all from these past seven months. Number one is that hard work pays off, and number two is that dreams come true, and that's what's happening. Uh, I will, I will be where I want to be. I, I, I'm, re I'm 100% confident that I, that I will make it to the top. I have the skills, I have the dedication. It will happen, and I'll let you know when it happens. But precision beats power, and timing beats speed. I knew he would overextend. 
and I knew where to catch him. If you can see it here, and you have the courage enough to speak it, it will happen. I see these shots, I see these sequences, and I don't shy away from them. A lot of times people believe in certain things, but they keep to themselves. If you truly believe in it, if you become vocal with it, you are creating that law of attraction and it will become reality. It just goes to show that hard work and dedication really does pay off. I'm not done by any stretch of the imagination. My handle, I'll handle this loss like a champion. Um, I will not shy away from it. I will not make excuses to it. Um, I lost in there. There was there was errors, but errors can be fixed if you if you face your if you face them head on and fix them and that's it. I will celebrate this like 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 you should. You should celebrate all adversity because it makes you it makes you grow and it makes you stronger. So. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, and this is this is something that uh, will make me stronger. We can either run from adversity, or we can face our adversity head on and conquer it. And that's what I plan to do. I'll face it. I'll take it on the chin, and I'll carry on. I'll learn. And I truly believe we are all equal as human beings. And if we are obsessed with something and we truly pursue our passion with everything we have, regardless of any anything else, if you are obsessed. Work hard, put in the time, you will succeed. And, and that is a philosophy that I carry, my coaches carry, and this is hard work. This is an obsession. Nothing can be hard work. I took a chance. It didn't pay off. I'll be back. I will. I will be where I want to be. I, I, I'm, re I'm 100% confident that I, that I will make it to the top. I have the skills. I have the dedication. It will happen, and I'll let you know when it happens. I'm an up-and-coming fighter, and without a doubt, you will see me on the UFC in the near future. Without a doubt. So I've just finished uh, my leg session, I've just got in from the gym and uh, as you can see I've got a beautiful chicken and rice bowl and dairy milk. So obviously dairy milk isn't really dieting, I've not really been dieting recently, I've just been training hard, watching what I eat but eating a lot because uh, I need a lot to fuel myself. But uh, I'm highly motivated at the minute, like so motivated, I just want to put everything into this prep because 2020 has been a weird year and I just want to prove to myself that I can get better each year no matter what so um, I think it'll be good to look back on this year as well doing a lot of my training from home and weird training uh, and to get to the best shape I've ever been would be a big achievement so I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube uh, I'd massively appreciate a like uh, I don't do these videos for likes or anything like that but I uh, do them because I want to try and inspire people. But if you are watching this, you've got to the end. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, so good night and hope you have a nice weekend if you're watching this on Sunday night. Uh, hope you have a positive week and keep smashing it. Keep working hard. Keep enjoying your training. The more you can, like, the harder you work, the more better you feel. Uh, it can tackle so much working hard. So... As you can probably tell, I'm highly motivated at the minute. <laughs> highly motivated at the minute, but um, thank you. Cheers. Bye.